1. Which of the following options correctly converts? Did you leave your suitcase on the bus into active form? A. Was you leaving your bag in the bus? B. Did you left your bag in the bus? C. Did you leave your bag in the bus? D. Have you left your bag in the bus? Two. Identify the passive form of. The police refused to let them enter Delhi. A. They were not permitted entry into Delhi by the police. B. They were refused entry into Delhi by the police. C. They had been refused entry into Delhi by the police. D. They have been refused entry into Delhi by the police. Three. Determine the correct passive form of. For the party, they are making extensive preparations. A. Elaborate arrangements were being made for the party. B. Elaborate arrangements have been made for the party. C. Elaborate arrangements are made for the party. D. Elaborate arrangements are being made for the party. Four. Identify the correct active form of. She pardoned him for everything. A. She is forgiving all his faults. B. She forgave all his faults. C. She has forgiven all his faults. D. She will forgive all his faults. Five. Which of the following options correctly converts? We carefully examined the plan into passive form. A. The plan is being looked at carefully. B. The plan was looked at carefully. C. The plan have been looked at carefully. D. The plan has been looked at carefully. Six. Identify the correct indirect form of. I received a large discount on this television, Sasha said to him. A. Sasha told him that she is getting a hefty discount on that television. B. Sasha told him that she has got a hefty discount on that television. C. Sasha told him that she has got a hefty discount on this television. D. Sasha told him that she had got a hefty discount on that television. Seven. Determine the appropriate passive form of. Jessica is regarded as an expert by all of us. A. Jessica should be regarded as an expert by all of us. B. Jessica is regarded as an expert by all of us. C. Jessica has been regarded as an expert by all of us. D. Jessica was regarded as an expert by all of us. Eight. Which part of the phrase has a grammatical error? The man played the flute and led all the mouse out of the town. A. The man played. B. All the mouse. C. The flute and lead. D. Out of the town. Nine. Identify the correct active form of. During the inter-college cricket tournament, our team scored 350 runs. A. 
350 runs were scoring our team in the inter-college cricket tournament. B. Our team was scored by 350 runs in the inter-college cricket tournament. C. 350 runs have been scored by our team in the inter-college cricket tournament. D. 350 runs were scored by our team in the inter-college cricket tournament. Ten. Which of the following options correctly converts? The play's conclusion caught the audience off guard into active form? A. The audience surprised the ending of the play. B. The ending of the play as surprising for the audience. C. The ending of the play surprised the audience. D. The ending of the play has surprised the audience. Eleven. Determine the appropriate passive form of. Northern India was under the dominion of Razia Sultana. A. The northern part of India was ruled over by Razia Sultana. B. The northern part of India is ruled over by Razia Sultana. C. The northern part of India was being ruled over by Razia Sultana. D. The northern part of India had been riled over by Razia Sultana. 12. Elvin declared that he was overworking for that business. Determine which of the following options accurately converts the statement into reported speech. A. Elvin said, he was tired of that company. B. Elvin said, I am sick and tired of working for this company. C. Elvin said, I will be tired of working for that company. D. Elvin said to me, I am sick and tired of working for this company. 13. She mentioned her brother's upcoming nuptials. Identify which of the following options accurately converts this statement into reported speech. A. She said, my brother was getting married. B. She said, her brother is getting married. C. She told, her brother is getting married. D. She said, my brother is getting married. 14. He was told to go to his room and study by his father. Which of the following options accurately converts this statement into reported speech? A. His father said to him, go and study in your room. B. His father said, go to your room and study. C. His father said firmly, go and study in your room. D. His father shouted, go right now to your study room. 15. Please give me more pocket money, he begged his father. Which of the following options correctly converts this statement into reported speech? A. He pleaded his father to please increase my pocket money. B. He told his father, please increase the pocket money. C. He asked his father to increase his pocket money. D. He requested his father to increase his pocket money. 16. The man said, No, I refuse to confer guilt. Identify which of the following options accurately converts this statement into reported speech. A. The man refused to confer his guilt. B. The man emphatically refused to confer his guilt. C. 
the man was stubborn enough to confer his guilt. D. The man told that he did not confer his guilt. Seventeen, a quiet voice behind me murmured, Are you alone, my son? Which of the following options correctly converts this statement into reported speech? A. A soft voice said to me, Are you alone, son? B. A soft voice asked that what I was doing there alone. C. A soft voice behind me asked if I was alone. D. A soft voice from my back asked if I was alone. Eighteen. I know where everyone is, she said her pal. Identify which of the following options accurately converts this statement into reported speech. A. She told her friend that she knows where was everyone. B. She told that she knew where was everyone. C. She told her friend that she knew where was everyone. D. She told her friend that she knew where is everyone. 19. Sandy requested a cup of tea from her butler. Determine which of the following options accurately converts this statement into reported speech. A. Sandy said to the servant, Bring me a cup of tea. B. Sandy told her servant, Bring a cup of tea. C. Sandy said to her servant, Bring me a cup of tea. D. Sandy said, Bring me a cup of tea. 20. Did the sun rise in the east? The young child asked her mother. Which of the following options correctly converts this statement into reported speech? A. The little girl asked her mother if the sun rose in the east. B. The little girl said to her mother that the sun rose in the east. C. The little girl asked her mother if the sun is in the east. D. The little girl said to her mother if the sun roses in the east. 21. I informed him that he was not exerting himself. Identify which of the following options accurately converts this statement into reported speech. A. I told him, you are not working hard. B. I said to him, you are not working hard. C. I said to him, he is not working hard. D. I said, you're not working hard. 22. Why don't you go today? She said to him. Which of the following options correctly converts this statement into reported speech? A. She asked him why he did not want to go that day. B. She asked him why he did not go that day. C. She asked him why he did not go today. D. She asked him not to go that day. competitive English practice test. Competitive English practice tests help candidates build language skills in grammar, vocabulary, comprehension, and writing. They simulate real exam conditions, improving familiarity with question formats and time management. Regular practice boosts confidence and readiness for competitive exams, English language quiz, and essay competitions allow students to showcase their grammar, vocabulary, and communication skills under time conditions, fostering critical thinking and teamwork.
Similarly, the annual English essay competition encourages creativity and rewards writing talent, offering recognition and opportunities to aspiring writers from diverse backgrounds. Preparing for competitive English exams. Effective exam preparation involves reading widely to expand vocabulary, practicing with online tests, and joining study groups for personalized feedback. Competitive English books and grammar contests offer fun, challenging ways to deepen skills. These strategies enhance language proficiency, critical thinking, and confidence for competitive exams.